Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this super bright, very colorful uh, look. This is a collab with another YouTuber. Her channel will be linked down below. We both agreed to do really bright looks and I got in one of my new babies. This is the Morphe 35B. And this is the only eyeshadow I use for today's look. Um, <laughs> I have never done a look this bright on my channel, as y'all know. And this is really out of my comfort zone for me. But so far, so good. I think I like it. Um, so if you want to see how to get this look, go ahead and keep watching. And before you do, hit the subscribe button because... I would love for y'all to keep getting my videos and if you want to know every time I post you can hit the notification bell. I also post Tuesday, Thursday, sometimes Saturday depending on how my weekend's looking. I do have a full time job but I love doing this so I'm trying to keep at least two to three posts a week up. So um, keep watching and see how I got this look. Hey guys, okay, so I'm in full roughness right now. Um, since I'm doing the colorful eye look today, I decided to go ahead and do my foundation last, which I never, never do. Okay, <clears throat> so today I am going to aspire to kind of a cotton candy type look. Uh, this is actually for a collab I'm doing with another YouTuber. Um, I will link her down below so y'all can check out her channel um a few of us are doing this and we're all trying to do bright looks and since i got in my 35b palette i'm gonna do mine now <clears throat> because i'm pretty sure i could pull off any bright look i wanted to with this beautiful thing so got both my mirrors set up first things first as always MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, taking my flat brush, yes I know, Floyd's, your brush is disgusting. I have got to wash them. I love my spin brush cleaner, but I don't quite trust it with my eyeshadow brushes yet, especially the flat ones. So I'm going to have to do these maybe by hand. I might try one of them in there that I don't love so much and see what happens. <clears throat> And I'm also going to do this a little bit different today since I'm going for a super bright look. Um, and yes, I hold my brushes incredibly weird. It's just a thing. Um, so once I lay this down, I am going to set it with some translucent powder instead of just setting it with a neutral eyeshadow. So I'm going to take a little bit of my airspun and extra translucent and I'm going to need this for under my eyes too and I think I'll go ahead and put some of that there just to kind of control the fallout at least, at least a little bit. So I'm going to take this on my beauty blender, yes I know it's dirty too, and I'm just going to put this on my eyelid. I've heard a lot of people complain about the fragrance and <laughs> it is strong. Like don't, do not hear me say this is not a very strong smelling product because it definitely is. But to me, I don't think it's like a bad smell. It's kind of like, it smells like the powder my grandma used when I was little. And to me, that's not necessarily a bad smell. It's not something I want to smell all the time, but the smell wears <clears throat> off pretty quickly, in my opinion, so it doesn't bother me too, too bad. But again, that's just me. And at this point, I'm not entirely sure exactly what the look I'm going for is. If y'all can't tell from my previous videos, um, I literally get on here 
and I'm right here with you like hoping I pull off something pretty <laughs> um, but I am gonna go in with a white it's a huge palette to pick up I'm gonna go in with this white color and set it on top of that translucent powder in hopes that it will make my colors look brighter and the pigment on this palette is like amazing like I don't have a clue why I didn't start getting Morphe sooner it's amazing like I'd always heard like they're super affordable great pigment okay but then I heard some oh well they're made in horrible warehouses and terrible terrible things so I steered clear until Jacqueline Hill's palette came out because you know she's Jacqueline so of course I had to get hers whether it was more fear or not so while I was getting it I just went ahead and snagged up the 35O and the 35B and oh my goodness I swatched some of her shimmers and I was so excited because like they're actually super shimmery and super pigmented I haven't played with it on my eyes just yet but I should be probably later today or next week and oh my god like it's just incredible from what I've seen so far <clears throat> okay sorry back on topic Florence what I want to do I think is kind of like a deep bright pink uh, smoky with like a blue cut crease because I think that'll come out pretty good so I'm gonna go in with this and then this and if that's hard to follow along, I'm sorry. This palette's just so big, I don't want to keep picking it up. So I'm going to pick up that lighter shade and see if I can get a good amount. Since it is lighter, it's not going to be super pigmented because it's almost close to the color my eyelids are anyways. So that's okay. But I just want this here so that when I go to put the bright pink, it doesn't just go crazy because going in with too much is never a good idea. And although it is not super like noticeable, it is really pigmented. You can already tell that I've got a little bit of color laid down in that crease. And I'm only doing this because I have this uh, fear of having bright pink right on my eyelids. Like I just feel to me, it's not flattering on me. I've seen people do it like super well. Okay, brave moment. We're gonna go in to the bright pink. Oh my God. Yeah, this is bright, okay. So we're gonna try to work this in slowly. I probably should have tapped that off my brush a little, but I didn't. And that's okay because it's actually going on super well. Now keep in mind, this is literally the first time I've put Morphe anything on my eyelids. <clears throat> and so far, I'm trying to take Tati's rules, grab it at the end and kind of go a little looser. And honestly, I'm not very good at this unless I'm closer to the front. So. We're gonna have to do this. But uh, this is like super impressive. I'm, I'm shook and I don't use that word too often, but I think if ever there was a time to use that phrase, it is right now because this is amazing. I have never been so impressed by eyeshadows that were less than a dollar a piece because if you didn't know, most Morphe palettes, now Jaclyn Hill is an exception, but most Morphe palettes are $22.99. Um, in my case, I went ahead and spent up to the $75, so I got free shipping. But they're $22.99, and they come with 35 colors. And oh, listen, these are some of the best colors I've ever used. Like, look at this. It's already, and that's like one go. I didn't have to build it up. I didn't have to do anything. It just came out like that. But I'm going to build it up some more because I'm extra and I would like this to be a super bright look. 
Yeah, and I have to build it up higher because as we have discussed, I have hooded eyelids. I assume that's what that is. If my eyelids aren't hooded and I'm just crazy, someone tell me, but like everything disappears when I open my eyes, except for this little bitty slit down here. So I think that means that I have hooded eyelids. I don't know. That's what I've assumed and that's my excuse. So I have to build everything up a little bit higher. Luckily, my eyebrow lady came in clutch today because I told her that I really wanted to be able to make my brows look arched instead of flat. So we arched them up a tiny bit more this morning. So if they're looking a little ouchy, that's why, because I just got them done. Since I want this to be a bright look, I'm just going to leave it there. And that's how it's going to be. And now I'm going to take, oh, I don't want to take you, I have plans for you. I'm gonna take this little bitty brush and my shape tape and cut a crease. Now, this is a bright look, but it's also a quick look. Because in my opinion, and I'm probably wrong, I tend to be wrong, if I'm gonna go for something super bright, I don't feel the need to darken it. Like when I do my smoky eye looks, they take me a little bit longer because I'm always trying to like brighten them up and darken them up and make them dramatic. Well, this is going to be dramatic with just like, you know, two or three little colors added in there because that's all it needs is just my pink, my blue, a little bit to highlight my inner corner of my brow bone. Probably going to use a different color for that perhaps than what I usually do. I actually have a plan for that, I think. And I'm trying so hard to do this where y'all can still see me, but I think that's as close as it's getting. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got my cut crease drawn out with my shape tape. And this is the first time I've used my shape tape for a cut crease. Um, just because I haven't been using it that long. So I normally don't use it for my cut creases. So now we are going to take, don't fail me now, a flat brush. This one's a little bigger than usual, but this doesn't have to be super, super particular. And we're gonna take, let me see if I got you closed off, Mac Fix Plus, Holy Grail, if you want your eyeshadow to be bright, you want this. Just a heads up. I didn't think I needed it until I got it and then I realized it was all I'd ever needed. So we're going to do this and I think I do this wrong. I think I'm supposed to spray it after I pick up the eyeshadow but I spray it and then I pick up my eyeshadow. Oh this is so pretty y'all. You see that? I can't, this is amazing. And normally I don't use Fix Plus on matte shadows, but just because I need this to be dramatic, I am making an exception today. Oh, this is so pretty, okay. And I know this looks a little crazy right now, <clears throat> but I am gonna go ahead and add more detail to it as soon as I get this laid down on this other side. And bear with me. I know sometimes I get so close to my mirror that it's hard to really see what I'm doing. Your girl is legally blind over here. Uh, even with my contact, stuff is still blurry. And if I have to look out of one eye, say, for example, when I'm doing my eyeshadow, <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> so that's why that happens. <clears throat> okay, so on the other side of my brush, I'm gonna pick this up in a shimmer, because this has a regular blue and a shimmer blue, and we're gonna try spraying the Fix Plus, and I did not just put three sprays. I actually missed twice because um, I'm ridiculous. And we're gonna try putting the shimmer just right on top of that matte shade. It's basically the same color. This will just build it up a little more. 
At least that's what we're hoping for. Oh yeah, that's, that's flawless. Okay, so we're gonna get this shimmer laid down. Oh yeah, okay, now, <clears throat> what we have to do to damage control all this blue that I just put on my eye is go back in with our bright pink, this little buddy. We are gonna tap you off this time. And we are just gonna go in here and try to diffuse any of these harsh, harsh lines. It is a cut crease, so yes, we want it to be harsh, but I almost want it to like fade from blue to purple to pink in the middle here. That's what I'm going for. That way we can kind of get a smoky cut crease, super bright cotton candy kind of thing going. So let me pick up the rest of this pink here. And we're going to repeat that on this side. Y'all, I can't even with how pretty this is right now. <clears throat> and I don't know if it's picking up on this video as well as I'm looking at it in person. But this is fabulous. I have not worn bright eyeshadow like this probably since junior high. <laughs> I don't know, it's been forever. <clears throat> and what I want to do real quick is just go ahead and uh, line my lash line with my Stila Liquid Stay All Day Liner. And I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna wing it out yet. I just wanna line that because it's bugging me. Because I can't quite get my eyeshadow to go over like I need it to. So this is a little thicker and this is a struggle. If you don't have hooded eyes, like thank God every day or whoever you think that you don't because this is ridiculous. Like I put a thin line and it's like, oh, haha, ha, you don't have any blue. Congratulations. I have to look up and then you get these little lines up here and it just happens. Like there's, there's no, no trick to fix it. There's no eyeliner that doesn't do it. Kat Von D does it too. Everybody's eyeliner does it. It doesn't matter what you try to do to stop that. It's just still going to happen. So to go ahead and fix that, I'm going to take some pink and try to diffuse <laughs> that little line from my eyeliner and see what happens. Sometimes this works. Sometimes it doesn't. It's easier to fix if I'm doing a smoked out black look or a brown look, which is why, part of why, I do those so often, because this is just inevitable for my life. But I think I got it kind of handled. I can make it look like it makes sense. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take my handy dandy powder brush, and if there's any left under here, just kind of wipe that clean. And we're going to go ahead and do our foundation so that I can attack this lower lash line because I am so excited to do this look. Okay. So I put my primer just about everywhere, but I do focus it like in the oily spots because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, there's nothing you're supposed to do. It's, it's makeup. So, I mean, you can do anything. And it's, it's still going to work. But if you're like me and you watch 5,000 makeup videos every day, trying to be sure that you're up to date on all the new methods of doing things and what works best and what looks best and all that. <clears throat> That's what we're told to do. So now I'm just going to take my... Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I'll show you all that in a second. Let me dot my face, my, my war paint. I think I might actually have a little bit too much. Huh. 
That's about a first. Okay. This is what I use. Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. Let me see which way, yeah. In a uh, lot 46, yes, I am very pale. Congratulations, just a me thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And I've found that, like I've said before, this is really high coverage. And it also comes in colors for us pale folks that usually can't find foundation to save our lives because I know for me that was always an issue especially growing up I used to be even paler than I am now and uh trying to find something to work when porcelain is too dark for you is a true true struggle I am about to be on on the lookout soon for a new foundation to try any suggestions are welcome because I've almost used like over half of this <clears throat> and since I have started this channel I use my makeup way 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 more often than I used to so I'm gonna need more soon I'm gonna go in real quick and see if I can do this without destroying my makeup and a tight line this and all you do is just take this eyeliner and do it in that top water line Sometimes it works good, helps out, and if you decide to put on falsies, it hides those a little better. I will tell you that while I am a fan of this liner, uh, my favorite one in the whole world to do this with is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It stays like nothing I've ever tried before and I'm out of it <clears throat> and I don't live close to a Sephora it takes about an hour to get to one and the last time that I consciously went in there to try and get some they were out and so I couldn't get any and I almost cried and I was very upset for a very long time because that is my favorite now I'm going to go ahead and put my shape tape under my eyes and highlight my face a little bit. So we're just going to make our little upside down triangle here. Ooh, made a big triangle right there. And we're going to take some up here and down the nose and on the chin right there. Honestly, I could just cover my face in this. I know some people use this for foundation, and I think those people are geniuses. Because this stuff is amazing, too. Like, it is some of the best coverage I have ever seen in my lifetime. Which, personally, I think is saying a lot, because... Oh, oh of course I did that. Okay. We're going to damage control that in a second. Actually, we're going to damage control that right now. I just got shape tape on my eyelid, y'all. i got to be careful. I'm hoping I'm shaking y'all. Apologies. Sometimes I just get excited. Yep, we want to do that. Let's see if I can get this to conceal up and make me a nice little line over here. It looks pretty good so far. Okay. So, <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and put some contour on my face. Use the Lorac Pro. Usually in medium, I should probably use light, but... Okay, so now for the contour, I'm just going to drag it here and kind of blend it out. I'm doing this a little different than I usually do. I'm still probably going to have to go back with my oval brush, but I want to try to blend this out while it's not working. So we're just going to do what we normally do. 
and go in with my oval brush and see what that little sucker can do. And I don't know what happened, but my camera just stopped recording for a hot second there. Don't ask me why. I don't know. It has a mind of its own sometimes. This is a freshly charged battery. Like, whew, this looks so dark on this camera, but like in my mirror, I can barely see it. So we're just going to go with it like this. Not over here though, because I haven't fixed you yet. But, um, yeah, I just put a new battery in this and it just was like, hey, we're done recording today. Sorry. Doesn't work for me. So, we are not done recording today. We're still going. And I had a blush. Maybe I didn't have a blush. I could have lied. I don't know. So, I guess since I don't have a blush over here, we're just going to take some tart bronzer. This is Park Avenue Princess. It's Amazonian Clay. One. And we'll just take this and we'll just bronze up my face a little bit because I'm pale anyway so surely I could use it. It doesn't really matter to me. So here is that. Hmm. Darker than usual but it'll be okay. All right, <clears throat> so I'm about to do this lower lash line. But what I'm gonna do first is take a little more airspun, or a lot more airspun, I don't know, and just put it on here to set that concealer. And we're gonna put it under our eyes. If I could get enough to come off on this side, I would put more, but it's not quite agreeing with me today. So we're just going to set that, and then I'm going to try to go in and kind of draw a line under the contour, like right there. And the only thing I don't like about this, and I may start using a different one soon because you can't see where these lines are and that bothers me because this is a very very translucent powder so whenever you go to put it on it disappears very easily which bothers me i finally got some to stick this time but another trick i used to use was a uh, Ben Nye Super White. I used to use that when I would help my friends with their makeup for special events or, you know, whatever they had going on. Because I was always a makeup person, even if my makeup didn't look great every day, I knew how to do theirs pretty good. Because I am far better at doing makeup when I can see everything I'm doing. <clears throat> that has always been my struggle. I can get this little thing cleared off. What I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to take um, that matte blue, I'm going to put it on this flat brush and I'm just going to hug this up to my lash line and I am going all the way over because I do want this to be a little more dramatic than usual. So I'm going to do that and then what I'm going to do on, oh, I don't have one, so I guess I'm just going to use this little thing again and try to be careful, is take like, I don't want to take the bright pink again, so I'm going to take this light pink color I used earlier, put the one with some shimmer on it and I'm just going to smoke this out down here a teeny bit. And that looks pretty good for that lower lash line. 
So that's what we're gonna go with. And that means we are done with this palette. So now we get to do a wing. And that is my boyfriend texting me. I don't know what about. I guess I'll check after I finish this wing because once I finish this, I am gonna get off camera and do my mascara and my lashes and see y'all with the final look. My wings are crazy, judge my life, the phone distracted me. So this is gonna be a very dramatic wing. I think I did that the wrong way, but it'll be all right. Came out evenish. Now, wings do not always come out even. At least this is my opinion. It makes me sleep better at night. I never ever get wings completely even personally I think that's fine um, <clears throat> obviously you want to get them even but it just doesn't always work that way like really he just texted me to say what's up because he knows this is my filming day but you know whatever text me that's cool Okay, so this has been on there for about five minutes, so we're just going to go ahead and sweep all this loveliness off, especially since we have this lower lash line done, so whatever is left over, go ahead and come off. <clears throat> and I lied, I do get to talk to y'all a little bit longer, because it's time for highlight, and y'all know I love my highlight. So... We used this last time with a pink color, but for today, we're going to take the beautiful one. I love this palette. We're going to take Forever Lit <clears throat> on our eyes, and we're just going to pop, pop this in, like right here, and this is adding a gorgeous sparkle onto this blue, and I'm in love with it. That's perfect. And we're going to take this over here and we are going to clean this up in a minute because I know I can't leave it all messy. So we're about to clean it up, don't worry. And we're just going to sweep off a little bit of this extra because I don't need it all the way over there. <clears throat> and then we're going to take... Um, you look like a winner. This pointed brush and grab some Forever Lit and just toss that like right here. And I am going to follow the advice I've heard on this and not go crazy with my brow bone highlight. <coughs> so right now, hold on, let me, let me just, just so y'all can see, blinding, right? This is the best. Anastasia kills everything, but my god, their highlight is incredible. We're going to take this here, then we're going to take it on this side and sweep it right up through here. And I'm going to take <clears throat> my powder brush and just kind of try to diffuse that around since right now it just looks like a straight line it still looks like a straight line but that's okay because I can uh, kind of play with it and then I'm going to take a little bit on my nose I'm going to take it up my nose I'm going to take it on my cupid's bow Okay, so while I'm off camera, we're going to try to do some brows and some eyelashes, and I'm going to toss on a lip color, and we're going to see what happens. So I'll be right back, you guys. Alright, guys, so uh, here is the final 
look. Let me know what y'all think. I added a lipstick that y'all saw very recently. This is the Kiss Me in Pink Cherry. I thought it would go really good with this uh, cotton candy kind of look I was going for. And oh my god, hate me if you want to. I do my brows with a direct sales product. It is Acti Labs. Um, it's just like a dip brow. It's pretty much the same thing, just a little bit cheaper. And when I have them arched decently, that's what I use. I know they're very, very thick. I'm still learning how to do those correctly. Um, and of course, I used my Roller Lash Mascara. I want to film another look today, so I did not put falsies on. Sorry. But I think that all this brightness doesn't need the falsies to really stand out. So, this is the look. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you have any questions, suggestions, anyone who wants to collab, Whatever you'd like, just uh, comment below, let me know, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks, guys.